In an efforts to get the power restored in Colorado Springs following Wednesday's windstorm, about 6,000 outages remain tonight as crews continue their round-the-clock effort to get the lights turned back on. News 5's Andy Cohen is live with our local crews getting a hand from some partners, Andy, from around the state. Fill us in what's going on here. Yeah, that they are, Rob. Five additional crews of linemen from XL Energy and from the city of Fountain are in Colorado Springs tonight trying to get the power restored faster. This afternoon, executives from Colorado Springs Utilities told us that they are hopeful to have full restoration by sometime on Sunday. It was a moment of relief for Jenny Danfors Furman when the lights came back on. Just this morning, it was so exciting. Her neighborhood, Patty Jewett, was among the hardest hit Wednesday. It was tough, you know, you're just so used to having power and yeah, just figuring out logistics. At its peak, more than 40,000 outages were reported citywide. That number has since dropped to around 6,000. But the work is now taking longer because of all the debris that crews have to remove before they can get to the power pole. A simple pole replacement, which is normally a six to eight hour job, is now being complicated by all these other things as well. The repair work is happening round the clock. A minimum of eight teams with four linemen from Colorado Springs Utilities are working at any given hour. And today, help arrived from neighboring communities with five additional crews. And we're actively looking for other resources to bring into the city to help us out as we manage this thing. And we will continue to run 24 hour operation, 24 hour operations until we have 100% restoration in place for all the citizens of the community. They've prioritized pole replacement where the greatest number of customers can be helped in a single fix. But with at least 500 individual outages still needing repair, the pace of that work is going to get slower. So 500 potential issues like this that we're going to have to wade through to get those individual customers restored at the end of the day. And Jenny's advice to those still waiting in the dark, don't be afraid to lean on your friends for help. I would just call people and say, can I just go with you and go and, you know, pick up some food or whatever. So. And just about a half hour ago, we heard from the city of Colorado Springs. They will be opening an emergency shelter tonight at the Sunnyside Church, uh, Sunnyside Christian Church. They are located at 2025 North Murray Boulevard. That is if you don't have power and you need a place to stay overnight tonight. And they will be opening in about a half hour now at 630 this evening. In Colorado Springs, Andy Cohen, News 5.